nothing new, it's the same old thing. Different day. Same old thing, boy. Unless we're boring. Bill. No, I don't think so. We're gonna talk about cactus, so it's never gonna be boring. Same old thing. <laughs> Hello plant friends, welcome to episode 2 of my California Dream series. This time I will be bringing you to Poots Cactus Nursery in Ripon, California. The father and son tandem of Bill and Brian Poots will tour me and Kitoy around their nursery, so enjoy! By the road, you will be greeted by huge specimens of saguaro and other cacti. Most cacti are endemic in the United States. When you enter Poots, you'll be amazed with a well-curated arid garden, showcasing amazing specimens planted on the ground.
pregnant lady. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> what? Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's your private collection. Okay. Yeah, that's my wife. This part of their nursery is their selling area. You will see different kinds of cactus and succulent that are for sale. Getting tired yet? Well, at this point, I am just so overwhelmed.
here Brian is going to tour us around the nursery even to the restricted area so don't quit yet there's a lot more Tucson after that's over okay but I want to try to go to miles yeah uh, and then what's the other place Aaron adaptions you know it? Aaron adaptions it's, uh, what's his name Jeff Jeff Moore not the not the not the, odd, guy, not the, the not the Jeff Moore that's in California yeah that's Jeff Moore in Arizona okay but I'm gonna go to those two places Monday Tuesday next week yeah wow you have huge apuntias here <laughs> yeah, we got some big ones. So, yeah, if you want to look through here, you can. Come on. Do you cover that? Yeah. Okay. Mainly to keep the water off the sea pods. Yeah. Yeah, you know, get the ribs in the water. Yeah. But, but yeah, the other thing that's got the white is you know, cover the plastic cover. Yeah. Just keep it dry. Yeah. So do, do you pollinate them yourselves or uh, you just of, have the bees? Some, a lot there? of it's open pollinated. Open pollinated. So please bear with me guys because I'm going to walk you through row by row because I don't want to miss anything. I may not be. I was actually unable to absorb it at the time that I was there. But you know, I want to make sure I capture it on video to here. share it with yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, and half of it is on the tables now for the winter. Oh yeah. Inside. Yeah. Oh. This thing was packed full. <laughs> I wish we can bring those in the Philippines, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we can. Oh, yeah, I mean, a lot of oh, the other people with you guys, isn't Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
So this is the private area? Yeah. They're not selling it to you? Well, you can ask. In general, this is a propagation area. <laughs> propagation area. So is, he, is this where you got your Echeverias? No, I got no. them on the <laughs> <laughs> Old school. This, this is a coveted one. Yeah. Everybody likes that one. <laughs> With the white rhino? Yeah. So you only have one here or you have propagation? Uh, we only have, well, there's two more babies. Oh, okay. But this is your mother yeah. plant. Yeah. It's a yeah. price tag there in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'd like to get more, but they get, they've gotten so expensive over here, too. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, really? They all have. But where I mean, is it originally from? I'm not sure who the original came up with. Yeah, it's all over there. Okay. My size. Yeah. And even those gigas. Yeah. Oh, that's just the baby LC, our big ones. Oh, yeah, there. bigger ones there? Yeah. <laughs> Be a columnaris on their own roots. Yeah. Oh. Usually you see them grafted. Yeah. This one too. I bet this one is from seeds, right? Yeah. Or from you got it from the wild? Or? Uh, no, that was uh, started from seed. Yeah. Oh, Twenty yeah. years ago. This how long you've started? Uh, my dad started 44 years ago. 44 years ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. This one is pretty yeah, rare too. Yeah. yeah. So some, it's, it's these a, are some of the cyphostemas that everybody really likes. Yeah. Satiana. Yeah. Is it the one who gets red as well when it's stressed? Um, no. Not that I've really seen. Mm -hmm. But they're the ones who got wider bodies. Yeah. yeah. So here are the big ones. Oh. 
Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not see that coming. So they, they told me it has like a male female, yeah. so you can pollinate it. So yeah. you have a male female here, or you just pollinate? Um, yeah, there's. I think we, we've gotten seed off of this one. Okay. Um, so far, we haven't gotten seed off of any of the other ones. Okay. But they just started blooming last year. Okay. Um, so you propagate either through seeds or you just do cuttings? Uh, we or? haven't done cuttings yet. I mean, you can. But yeah. we're mainly just trying to get seed off, of seed off. instead of hacking them all up. Yeah. <laughs> Because they say it's hard. Yeah, we haven't been able to get any seed on the yet. I don't think it's big enough yet. Oh, okay. So it's good you inherited the love for cactus from yeah. your father? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I guess you've been collecting since. Yeah, I mean I've been raised with it my whole life, so. Mm -hmm. cool. This one's probably how many years already? Oh boy, that's probably. 15, 20? 20, 25 years. 30, 25 years. I mean, we got them from somebody else and they're already decent size. Yeah. And it's funny, the, the color differentiation, mm -hmm. um, the other guy that had it, he had a high iron content in his water, mm -hmm. and so it turned everything brown. Okay. And once we got it, we don't have that, and so everything stays oh, yellow. Oh, yellow, yeah, yeah, okay. So it really depends on the water that you give them. Yeah. Like the uh, the old man, the Cephalocera senilis, mm -hmm. he had one, you know, it was solid white when he got it, and within a couple of months of him watering brown. it, it turned all the hair brown. brown. Yeah. So I, I initially thought it was because of, you know, dirty air or something like that. <laughs> but then yeah. I found out it's really in the water. Yeah. Really, so. Cool. Cool. Oh, you have a lot of this too here. Yeah. We had a really big plant. You know, it was probably this big. Mm -hmm. and, and it was just covered in babies. Mm -hmm. And one winter a peach worm got into the very tip of it mm -hmm. and drilled into it and it rotted the it rotted the main plant out okay. so we yanked we pulled all the babies off and that's what all these are from oh okay yeah too bad so you you also do propagations through seeds yeah so like these are all seedlings yeah last year they will start taking apart mm -hmm. and then you know this is our seed bench you know where we propagate a lot of seeds oh nice so astrophyte doom you got here euphorbias yeah we just planted probably 20 25 different varieties of copia poa seed this mm -hmm. year so so you also do hybrid or not like really. do you cross them? Or? No, not no. too much. Not too much. Yeah, because in in the Philippines, mo we usually get most of our cactus from Thailand. Okay. And they are very fond of you know doing hybridization there. Yeah. So. But the only the only hybrids that we've really done or crosses is the Luchtenbergia with the Ferro cactus. Mm-hmm. And then you get a, what they call a feral bergia. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, there's one. We have some down at the other end. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. And even aloes. So we have a lot of aloe hybrids yeah. there in the Philippines. Yeah, there's a lot here too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They keep coming out with new ones because one of the biggest aloe hybridizers uh, is in California, in Southern yeah. California. Yeah. So. In is that in LA or? Yeah. So you just keep that fan going over yeah, the day. Yeah, trying to pull in cooler air to keep you know keep a little cooler in here. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. 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 We have a lot of euphorbias. Yeah, and actually I have most of our euphorbia medusoids in my house. Um, okay. So I can kind of have more time to propagate and you know, pollinate and stuff. Right. Oh, okay. Because you really got to pollinate those in order to get seed off of them. Yeah, so. right. Right. so you don't have natural pollinators here? Not for the euphorbias, not really. Not For like this one, it already has a lot of pups. Yeah. Do you get a male and female from there, or um, it's all going to be male, or it's going to be all no, female? I think we have seen both flowers on that. One. Oh, okay. and typically, yeah, it's one or the other. One or the other. Yeah, or be a sepulta there. It's not really What's that? So, what temperature do you yeah, usually keep them? Uh, in the winter, we try to keep this around 45 degrees or so. So, when do we go to get some seed off of this thing? Uh, we probably haven't, I just haven't seen it. <laughs> so, what is this one? Euphorbia hamada. Ooh. Look at, look at the stalks on, on that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're lucky if you see a, a, a few branches. <laughs> yeah, I know. Nothing like that. And this thing almost got messed up this year because this plant here, it got it was all the way up to the top of the greenhouse and it fell over and it knocked this thing off the table. Oh my gosh. Luckily it didn't damage it too bad. <laughs> So do you do you also have the the black one? No. No. I don't know if I've ever seen the black one. No, there 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 is. This is the ZZ plant, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to arrange the hair? Well, of course. <laughs> Every once in a while, I get my comb out. Like, I got a comb. Out. Oh, this one's very big too. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to pick one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pick one. Pick one. Oh, this one is good. Marginalized. Yeah, crusted. Yeah. Oh, this has grown big. Do you also do you also trim the the for, stems? For us, yeah. they, they die it? back in the winter. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it dies back. Yeah, naturally. so it's just a bulb in the winter. Okay. Yeah. Nice colors. Yeah. <laughs> we also do how worth the ice? Yeah, these are all uh, variegated chimpatas. Yeah. This one I got the two We just we're just keeping these to let them make a bigger clump so we can tear them apart and that way we got more variegated. More ones. variegated ones, yeah. And then you'll just segregate which ones as well. Yeah. Better variegation. Yeah. You also have a lot of this here. Right? Yeah.
So there's there's a lot of collectors here as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, California is probably the mecca of the cactus industry. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the, especially LA. You know, yeah. They have the biggest shows down there. Yeah, yeah. Most collectors are probably down there. Okay. Oh, you also have the whale fin. What is this? Uh, I don't know if this has got a tag in it or not. My dad, prob <laughs> my dad probably. Oh, here it is. Oh, there you go. Hey, Mantis? I think? Yeah. Ooh, how many is this? Nice. It doesn't look like it belongs here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it feels like. This should be like a water lily or something. Yeah, definitely looks different. Nice. What, what about this one, this big one? Apophilicaria and the Yeah. This is a bit rare too. Yeah. I have, I have a bigger one down the end. Oh, okay. The one I saw from the Philippines, I think, was just like a branch. Like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then you can already join them in shows because it's very rare. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, this one. Yeah, it's the old flower bloom. Is this the That's the, the flower off of it. Of this one? Yeah. What? For sure? Yep. From where? It, 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 it just it comes, comes out here. Stock out of there and we just you know when it died we just left the flower stock. And then each one of these has typically has a seed in it. See, there's one seed in here. Okay. Um, but a lot of them didn't have any seed. Oh, okay. Nice. And you have this one again. Yeah. The one that you have in the front there. This is asking for a repot. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this one is nice. I think I saw this one time. This are the this is the pork full farm. Yeah. Do you have one of these for sale there? Uh, I think there might be one out there. Yeah. Oh, Vesterias. Yeah. I'm not having. I don't have a good chance with oh, yeah? for some reason. I know that uh, they're better left alone. For some reason, it's just not. I'm not very lucky. Is it the, <laughs> the roots rotting off, or it, it doesn't grow any roots at no, all? Really? I think, yeah. For some reason, I'm not sure. It's like it's just going to stay there. It's gonna pop, but the root is really not binding to the medium. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Sorry, guys. At this point, I just ran out of battery, and I have to go back. They have a lot of mellows over there. So it's a, it's a cross that. between this and this. And then you get this one? Yeah. <laughs> nice looking, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. So here is it again, the monkey tail. I'm not sure what you call them here. Monkey tails. Monkey tails. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, so we just transplanted all of our copi poas and it goes from here all the way to the end of the greenhouse now. Oh, nice. 
This is a good one. Regine. Yeah. This one is selling like crazy in the Philippines. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But they have the more globular ones. The circle ones? They have them, right? yeah. Wow, crazy ones. <laughs> yeah. So how do you pollinate them? Do you just like brush it? Yeah, you can make brushes. And if we want to cross them, you know, we'll you know, cross the pollen okay. between yeah. them. And then come what may, what's going to be your result? Yeah. <laughs> In the Philippines, it's more of like, you know, they are looking for variegations yeah. and stuff because most of it is coming from Thailand. So okay. we are getting a lot of those from them. I'd like to see more of the Astrophytum hybrids get over here. Oh! Which we don't, they're hardly over here at all. What's really? The Astrophytum hybrids. hybrids? Oh yeah, yeah, I was talking to your dad about that Yeah, too. it's like, you know, you hardly see any. Oh. They're just now starting to yeah, make just, it over just here. Starting, yeah, yeah. Because uh, there was a few at the convention for sale. Yeah, but yeah, not not many. Yeah, I like the Kiko. I think is yeah, Kiko, Kiko. Kiko. Yeah, that's about like the only the Kiko one. Ones? Yeah, that's about the only one that's really over here. Oh, okay. You, know, you get a few of the variegated uh, mysterious and stuff, but yeah, you don't really see too many. Yeah. I mean, you got Super Kubota and yeah, you know, some of those other ones that have been around right. for a long time, but all the yeah. new ones that you see. No, not yeah. over here. So we know what to bring yeah, next time, yeah, Keith. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to get a bunch of those new S5 hybrids. Yeah. Because I was just telling him that we got a lot of our cactus from Thailand. So yeah. it's really more of the variegation, yeah. the stuff. Yeah. 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 And here it's more of like the pure specimen ones, huh? the cultivars. Yeah. Oh, those are big ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are the ones everybody wants. <laughs> yes. We're starting to get some a good amount of seed off of them now, so we should have mm, okay. quite a few coming up. Yeah. It's easy because they also give out pumps. Right? Yeah. Problem, the biggest problem we have with these is the mice like to see. Ooh, really? So if we don't get to them right away, the right, mice will them. <laughs> so it's a, who, 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 who's in first? Yeah. Oh, so you got this one again here. Everything seems to be taller than you, Keith. Yes. <laughs> That's not hard to do. <laughs> yeah, this is the danger aisle. Oh, this one is also Pachypodium, right? Or yeah. Mamilarias. We, it's very hard to grow Mamilarias in the Philippines yeah, because they're very too sensitive good. to yeah. Humid, yeah. So if you can get one to clump, you're gonna win a competition. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a crested Mamilaria mimosa. Oh. Yeah, it's the first. I've never seen one. Yeah. And that thing has been crazy too in the last couple of years. I mean, three years ago it was big. Mm -hmm.
So, so I'm not sure how you repot them. Or <laughs> it's gonna be do, a do you ever? Do you these, ever? These have to be transplanted in years. Years. We just don't have the room. Yeah. I mean, it would take up twice this much table space to do it. Right. right. This one is nice too. Yeah, I believe that's either microthelia or lenta. Ari Carpus are crazy blue. Yeah. So sometimes it will just go crested and then go back straight again. Yeah. You'll just never know. Yeah. <laughs> here's here's one of those with the big sides of Balaam's on it. Yeah. He's really doing it on the side. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the one everybody wants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. These are rare in the Philippines. Uh, and we, we usually just, you know, see see one of this with two pops not yeah. like you have it in the dish right here and these are small compared to the original mother plant that all these came up mm -hmm. with i mean the thing is you know this big wow. this a huge clump. This is just heaven here. This one, Duvalias? Er, with a stinky flowers, right? And now that's actually uh, an Apuntia family. Oh, it's an Apuntia. I thought it was something from the Asclepia. Oh, yeah. It does kind of look like it. Though. Yeah. <laughs> So you got your crest collection here? Some of them, yeah. <laughs> That's crested Hepatocactus for sunny eyes. Uh -huh. And then these are crested Pacaceras Pringly eyes. Mm -hmm. do, do you also do grafting of some sort? Uh, a little or bit, yeah. Little bit? How old is this one? 10-15 years? Um, it's probably 20, 20, 25 years old. Mm -hmm. I think got that one. This one is a bit different though. It's a cross between... Vesteria? Uh, I think it's a cross between Truncata and something else. I'm not sure which one. Okay. Are these flowers? Yeah. Oh, nice. Super hard to pull in. Variegated bear poles. Yep. I'm oh, sorry, I'm touching them. <laughs> <laughs> And for Hawartias, we usually get them from Taiwan okay. or from Japan. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, know the Hawartias are the biggest fan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they like the auctions and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this one. Aeon you? Yeah. You're in nice form. Those are very big lit ups. We, we can't get lit ups that big <laughs> oh, yeah. back in the place. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Yeah, don't find 
Yeah, right on time. <laughs> and then they'll just close again after, you know, before dark, right? Yeah. Yeah, these are also big in Thailand. Yeah, Adenios. That's yeah. where all the seed comes from that we started these plants. Oh, yeah. really? So you bought, you have them shipped here? Yeah. From whom? Oh. Because <laughs> this is where I started my collection with succulents. Oh, okay. And then it eventually evolved to cactus. So, yeah. But there, there are a lot of, there are a lot of uh, breeders in Thailand for adeniums and they have like the huge codex, yeah. right? The problem, the problem with these, these are supposed to be all, a lot of the newer hybrid, you know, different color flowers and stuff, and none yeah. of it came out yeah. that were correct. Really? No. I haven't got a one that came out the way it was supposed it to. It was supposed to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess uh, certain breeders do have better um, with how the hybrids come out. How the hybrids come out. Uh, really? The bigger ones? The bigger ones. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. Having a good time. So much of a good time. You yeah, can add get a little water to it. it. Yeah, thank you yeah. very much. Hi, Brian. Hi. You got any pictures with you over the pergola? One. One. <laughs> with, the, with as much as you got so far? Uh, you can't see everything, but most of it, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So we still have to put a wrapper in between each one that's up right now. And we still have to do the very last section. So these types are the ones that you'll probably see in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. And those most probably came from Thailand. So. We could have sold two or three of these today. The plants in the greenhouse. Oh, I'm sure. Waiting for these to get well rooted. No, we're not going to get that well. It's about uh, six inches off the tips all the time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do not water. So how often do you water it? Well, these we just got shipped in from the wholesaler. Oh, they okay. No roots. No roots yet. So we don't okay. want to, because if you overwater yeah. them, it's still rooting, they'll rot out. Yeah, right. So there's the bigger ones. Yeah, the bigger ones. I thought it was the Wistolinae. That's this, this one, one, right? This is pseudo lithos. Pseudo lithos, yeah. Yeah, pubiformis. Yeah. Oh, which is illegal in Africa, which country? <laughs> Somewhere in Africa, I know, oh, yeah? it's sacred for them, yeah. They're saying that you can't take it out of their country unless they're gonna be, you know, if they find out. Yeah, they're starting to get more strict with a lot of that. Especially here, right? Yeah. Unless um, you you probably need a special permit before you can... Yeah, you can't take anything out of the desert anymore unless they're going to bulldoze it for housing or roads or something like that. Okay. Then they'll let people come in and, you know, collect, collect them okay. um, or rescue them, you know, before they do that. Okay. And then most, most probably they're going to call out nurseries like yours uh, to do They usually it, try or? to cac um, call on the cactus clubs. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Like the Tucson Cactus Club or the Phoenix Cactus Club, uh -huh. you know, okay. so all their members will come out and they'll dig them up and then they'll have a sale, you know, where they'll sell them to the public. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then the money goes to? And money goes to the club. To the club. Yeah. Okay. The 
Because we have zero deaths right now. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> I think the cactus and succulent industry in the Philippines is starting to boom. I think it's going on its third year now. Okay. So we're just keeping the momentum going. Yeah. So do you have like a second greenhouse? Uh, the one you were in and then this one. Okay. There's two greenhouses that we have. Right. Oh, so these are the adeniums. Yeah. Starting to drop the leaves for our winter, they'll pretty much go leafless through our winter. Yeah. Um, unless it's a warmer winter and stays a little bit warmer, then they might keep some of the leaves. Right. I'm always struggling with spider mites in this one. We are, are right you? now because they just am uh, harvested the um, almond trees. Mm -hmm. And when they do that, they just make dust clouds that cover everything and that's okay. full of spider mites. So this time of year, yeah, yeah. they pretty much destroy the leaves. Right. <laughs> I always struggle with spider mites there. Are you still good? Yep. What's this one? Is it euphorbia? Oh. I'm not sure which variety. Which variety? Yeah. So you, you still have a quite a few of this, the milli eyes? Yeah. They they have one right now and they are trying to um it came from Thailand, they have the spineless ones. Yeah. We have one spineless oh, yeah, one here one? somewhere. Okay. And then they have a bigger leaves. Yeah. Those are all of our big obesas. Get all of our seed off of. This one. <laughs> How long have you had this? Years. Yeah. Uh, years. 15, 20 years. <laughs> this was just won't let stop. Yeah. That was laying on the bench because it busted the hanger. Oh, so. it had too much weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was over there and it. You know, when something that big breaks and it lands on top of whatever it lands on, it just oh, yeah. smashes everything. What's what's this one? Uh, ficus palmeri. Ooh. Ficus, the rubber tree. It's in the uh, same yeah. family. It's in the same family. Yeah. It's a rock fig. What? Rock fig. Rock fig? Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is Euphorbia symmetrica, so they stay shorter than the obesa. Which one? These. These ones? Yeah. Oh, so it's not obesa? No. So the obesas get tall, and yeah. the symmetrica stay short. Oh, okay. So how would you know? You don't. You don't? Until you see the yeah. Until you, yeah, see, yeah, until you see an older one. You got a lot of ST keys yeah. right there. Here's a crested uh, Myrostigma uh, Manzuka. Ooh, a bonia. Yeah. Sir Noy? Were you able to get some from Sir Noy? Yeah, I got That's one of yeah. those. Yeah. I think he has his. He hybridized that himself. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's this one? That is Euphorbia melodii? Yeah, yeah melodii. Oh, so there's the big ones. Oh, oh yes. Off the record, you're not going to have problems with that, right? <laughs> yeah.
Oh, you got the copper. So this is the one that you got there. Yeah, man, that's if we could grow them like they do in Thailand. Yeah. Did, did you see don't... that the, the, they have like a bonsai dish and then it's all covered by fog Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. They just, they, yeah, they just don't grow that And then they here. root train it, like they put wires in yeah, it. Yeah, that, that is crazy how they do that. <laughs> that's it guys thank you so much for hanging out don't forget to subscribe we have episode 3 for the California dream series featuring Elton Richards